Oh, hi. You caught me. I love macadamia nuts, but I can't eat too many of them because they've got a lot of calories and I really don't need any more calories. So how on earth is it that they actually know how many calories there are in this tiny little macadamia nut? I mean, how can they find out how much energy is actually stored in this macadamia nut that can be brought out when I eat it? Well, it's actually pretty interesting. You can't measure potential energy directly. You have to convert it to kinetic. Now, it's easy to convert to kinetic energy because kinetic energy is measured using a thermometer. Kinetic energy is basically temperature. Temperature measures the average kinetic energy of the molecules in a system. So, all I have to do is get the heat out of this nut, measure how much the temperature changes by, and voila, we can find out how much energy was stored in here. It's sort of like saying, I know how much money I had in the bank because I withdrew all of it. And I have this much money in my pocket now, so I must have had that much money in the bank. Right. So how do we get the energy out of the nut? We do it in a very similar way that our bodies do it. We burn it. Fire. <laughs> now, if we stick a thermometer directly into a flaming nut, the thermometer is going to rise, 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 and go, Poof! it's going to explode. We can't measure a flame directly. This thermometer goes up to 110 degrees Celsius. This nut's going to burn with a temperature that's a lot hotter than that. So we can't measure the temperature change in the nut directly. We're going to have to take the energy stored in the nut and transfer it to something else that heats up at a slower rate, like water. I've got 100 grams of distilled water in here. Distilled water absorbs heat at the rate of 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius. And what that means is that for every 4.18 joules of energy I give the water, one gram of water will go up by one degree Celsius. That's called the specific heat. So all we need is this equation right over here. The amount of potential energy stored in the nut, known as Q, is equal to the mass of water we're going to transfer the heat to, measured in grams, times the specific heat of the water, or the rate at which the water absorbs energy, 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius, times how much the temperature of the water changes by, with the thermometer in degrees Celsius. And I've set up a little data table over here to record that. We're going to start with 100.0 grams of water in the calorimeter cup. I'm going to find out what the temperature is before I light the nut, let the nut burn. <laughs> when it's done burning, record the final temperature of the water, take the difference between these two, and that will be our temperature change. Then all we have to do is take the 100 grams times 4.18 times whatever the temperature change is, and that's called calorimetry. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do is pour this 100 grams of water into a calorimeter. See? Calorimeter. It looks like a soda can, but looks can be deceiving. You'd never know I was a Martian, did you? Mr. Rosengarten is not really a Martian. There we go. And that will heat up at a rate of 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. We'll take that and we'll put it here. We need to put the nut on a little bit of a pedestal, like so. Lower this down so that the heat from the burning nut will rise up and heat the water in the can. Now the can works pretty well because the can is made of a metal, which conducts heat very nicely. And then we're going to lower this thermometer down, down, into the can. Now we don't want it to touch the bottom or we'll be recording the temperature of the hot metal because flame equals hot. Okay, right now the temperature is reading about 26 degrees Celsius. Now obviously as we heat this thing up, fire is hot. So the temperature is going to increase. The question is, how much is it going to increase by? And for that, 
Let's set this nut on fire. I'm going to move it out so that the heat of my lighter doesn't accidentally heat up the water. We only want the heat from the macadamia nut to heat up the water. In a food lab, they would do this in what's called a bomb calorimeter, where the nut is actually enclosed within the calorimeter, and it's ignited using an electric wire. But if we did it that way, you wouldn't be able to see it. There we go. Now we move it under. There it goes, just about done. As the last flame gutters and dies. Quick, the new temperature, 40 degrees Celsius. Excellent. As you can see, the temperature did go up. 40 degrees Celsius. Fantastic. Now, we can calculate exactly how many joules were in that nut by plugging the numbers in to the calculator. First of all, the mass of water was 100.0 grams times the specific heat, which is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. <gasps> grams cancels. Times, well, how much did the temperature of the water change? Well, going back over here, looks like about 14 degrees. So the temperature change of the water was 14 degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius cancels. Now, to get the joules, all you have to do is whip out your calculator and multiply these three numbers together, and that's how many joules are in this macadamia nut. Anybody got marshmallows? <laughs>